Hey there, beginning farmer friends. You know, if you follow along, that the grinder mixer had a chain pop off yesterday. So I'm going to start the afternoon. I went and worked in town this morning, and I'm going to start the afternoon off by getting this chain back on. I'm going to get out anything that's left in here, and then, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll tackle that grain bin behind me. As I was putting that back on, I saw that what had happened was this set of gears or teeth or whatever you call this deal, it had slid out. And I think it's because this collar right here is loose and I can't find maybe right there. I'm not sure, I can't find where it locks and it feels like that should be a locking collar. I'm out of my league. I'm out of my league. I did find a set screw on that collar, so this shaft will not go back and forth. This shaft connects over here to this set of pulleys with all these belts on it that runs your mill and then goes down here, which then goes back here via this shaft, which runs your on load and your mix and all of that good stuff. So this chain uh, it's still really loose so I don't know I, I've got this there's this um, tensioner over here and I've got it up as tight as it can get I don't I don't know we'll just see what happens I won't run it hard I'll just run it enough to get this emptied out and then we'll move on to the next thing I'll try to find somebody smarter than me round two I am ready I've got these boards set up behind me here I'm gonna just have it come out of the auger onto the ground, then I'll scoop it up with a loader. But what I am not ready for is the wasps. And they seem to be like, they have come back with a vengeance. My wife knocked down their nests earlier today and they seem to be not happy about that. And they are all congregating around the ladder where I want to be. So I'm going to put these glasses on. I'm going to shoot some wasps. Normally I'm a live and let live kind of guy when it comes to wasps, but not when I'm high up in the air and I, I just picture myself like getting stung, swatting at a wasp and falling backwards and landing on my back. And that's just not cool. All right, it's time for round two. I've got my wasp spray, got my mask, got my earbud. I'm going to listen to some Wendell Berry. That should be calming. I'm going to go up, climb in with the wasp spray. And that way when I come out, I can just spray a blitz and try to get down. Hey, I made it inside. Let's do it. Well, the cuckoo, she's a pretty bird, and she whistles as she flies. She never hollers cuckoo till the 4th of July. Alright, for some reason, my auger stopped, but I can hear the motor running still. Why did it stop? Is there a cord all the way up to the auger? Yes! Okay, scoop it all the way to the shovel and fly the hydrant. Okay, try it. That is a wet, stinky job. <sighs> Round two, day two of Ethan versus the grain bin is done. I got to a stopping point because the auger got to a stopping point. Let me go show you what was wrong or what happened. Here's my pile of corn. It's really, really not that much corn. I wish I wouldn't waste that much. I kind of saw inside where the problem areas are. So I'm gonna hit it with a grinder and try to paint something on it and see if that helps seal it up better. But let me show you what the problem is on this motor. So the way that this auger works is you've got a motor, electric motor up here. You've got this pulley right here and then the flighting in the auger in here. It spins, corn comes out. Obviously pretty basic. Right here, this is a flange bearing that needs to be seated 
in this right here and for whatever reason this whole shaft is sliding down and this flange bearing is popping out or this whole uh, pipe tube whatever it is is sliding down and this flange bearing is coming out that's what happened this flange bearing popped out and then it uh, had the belt loose and so there wasn't enough tension on the belt and then so it had this wet grain in it and it, it just got stuck i made progress though and the, and the frustrating thing is is that i am probably like 10 minutes from having everything cleaned out inside probably what i will do now is i can just um i'll come in with the loader scoop up all this corn get rid of it and i'll pull the auger out so i can do some work on the auger get it fixed and then i can kind of just come in through this chute there's a there's a chute right back here. I can kind of just come in through that chute. I can shimmy down through there with like a shop back or something like that and get the rest of it cleaned out. There is a door that you can open up on the bottom. It's pretty rusty, so I don't know if that's gonna happen, but um, something got accomplished today at least. It's not too often that I show you the sheep on the video because oftentimes they just take off, but you know I have a complicated relationship with the sheep anyway. It has been a challenge on the grain bin this year. It was crazy. It was dark in the grain bin. It was hot in the grain bin. It was smelly in the grain bin. Thankfully, I had that respirator mask on, so it wasn't too bad for me in the grain bin. But I want to get it done because I want to be ready when my buddy calls me and says, hey, we're combining the non-GMO corn. I want to be ready that he can just come over with the auger. We can throw three wagons in there or two yeah, probably three wagons in there and then we will have corn for at least six months um, maybe a little bit more we are going to have a lot more pigs next year i think um in the next month month and a half we're going to be bringing 80 feeder pigs onto the farm so stay tuned for that story thank you guys so much for watching we're going to hit round three with that thing hopefully with no wasps in the coming days and then we're back to the shed because we could be less than a week or maybe right at a week or a little more than a week away from the concrete contractor showing up so things are going to get even more busy if that is possible the minneapolis moline and me we say thank you for watching if you like the video the minneapolis moline says give it a thumbs up give it a subscribe hit the notification bell all of that good stuff thank you guys for watching this tractor maybe that's going to be the next thing on the fix it list no no it's not the 4430 is the next thing on the fix it list then maybe this tractor is the next thing on the fix it list you are my four pockets of silver and gold We appreciate it and we can't wait till we see you next time right here on The Beginning Farmer. I don't know, I feel like uh, that guy for the, the Woodwright shop. I love that guy, Roy Underhill. I think that's gonna be my new thing. Have a great night, have a great night.